Morning, Peter. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas too. <laughs> Today I'm having a little of uh, cold. Even me. Yeah, maybe a flu or something, but it doesn't stop working. So Indeed. We have to show up. Indeed. Yeah, it's good. It's a good morning, it seems. Yeah. Tambach it's, it's, is good. Tambach at 6 a.m. is beautiful. And uh, what is the session today? What are the guys doing? Uh, I had to do two Ks with the guys, five times. And then ladies, I do one case around seven, eight, and some four hundreds. Yeah. Awesome. Just to do something with it for the ladies. Great. Yeah. And for the men, what is the reason for doing two Ks? Uh, just to put some volume, a little bit threshold, and then I see how they perform. Yeah. Awesome. As we check our fitness so that when we start pushing, I know they can hold it. They have a good, a good pace. What pace are they doing their 2Ks at? Uh, 252, 253. Okay. Yeah, around like 545 pace for the 2K. Damn. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Some red trying to stretch up. Mm -hmm. my, my legs. I think everything is Nako Panda. Nako Panda Sana. Very light. You say the fastest shoe ever? Fastest shoe ever.
I don't mean How was that? It's good. 542 for 2k. Yeah. I bought one. I bought he had a small problem, so it's better to take care of it than to, to spoil it. <laughs> so it's better for him to rest, just to be safe, than to be sorry that so it's good. Peter, how is this fitting into their weekly schedule? What have they done this week? What do they have coming up? Uh, we had a long run, 30k on, on Thursday. Fat Lake on Wednesday, 5k, three times, 5k, four times for the marathon. So this one was a bit down. And then uh, easy on Wednesday and, and, and Friday as always. <laughs> No, I was saying for running, the most important thing is time. Because you need that time duration to grow a yeah, duration yeah. of time. That consistency, that is what you need. So these guys start when they are 10, 11, 12. So if they are starting at 12, by the time they are 20, they have eight years. Or when they start at 10, by the time they are 20, they have 10 years of training. In Kenya, it's only this one. You only run. Only okay. run. Nothing else. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, you, you have to be. You have to, to be perfect. So if you are training one hour in the morning, one hour in the evening, so two hours in a day. Mm -hmm. So for ten years, that is four thousand eight hundred hours. Where will you catch up with that? So in Kenya, so many people are running because it's a way for them to make a living. Yeah, it's a way out of poverty. Yeah. Yeah. If people had alternatives. You know? And even if you are working, the pay, the, the pay grade is not good enough. Yeah. So if these guys make it in life, working to only running two years, what someone is going to make in 30 years, they make it in two years. Yeah. yeah. But there are many Kenyans that don't make it, that don't make the money. So of course, no one talks about them. We have a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of uh, strata where people are not making money, they're suffering. More so in this corona period, if you are not on top, you are not making money. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do those people survive? How do they, where do they get their income from? Because I know in Niten there are many people who don't work, they just yeah, run. By God, mercy, it's, it's hard out here. And I know you, you've seen it. Yeah. It's hard out here, so I hope um, things change. And, and the club system will really change that thing. If we have strong clubs, where every club can have five guys being paid or something like that, or seven, we will take a lot of junk here of guys, a big number of guys. 
And if you are feeding one guy, they can feed another two or three. Because at least like helping each other. So it's good. I just hope they they, they get things right. Yeah. Those guys are suffering. Yeah. You can get someone suffering for five years before they make it. Yeah. So, and it's not just food, what? Then it becomes mental health. Yeah, it changes to something else. You get depressed. You push every day. Nothing coming, you see nothing. If you don't have someone holding your hand, you are done. Mm. It becomes very hard. And I know for most of these guys, running is their whole life, like... Yeah, it's everything they have. But now, getting into the job market in Kenya, sometimes they can very tricky. Also, coming from a mobile background, you don't have money to do business. You know, you, 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 you know nobody even in Nairobi or in, in the city or in Eldoret who can, you know, keep you there as you try to get something. Something to do with running. You don't need to be in the city or in the village here, putting in the work. So, uh, I hope things will change. We have a federation, they are working hard. The ministry also should be doing something for the welfare of athletes. It's, it's not easy being a sportsman in Canada. No. Yeah, the avenues for generating money is very limited. In, in European and American sort of athletic circles, I think a lot of athletes get their money from sponsorships and endorsements and brand deals. Yeah, they, 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 they are. But in Kenya, there's not so much? Not so much. They, they, you know, in America, they have avenues to make money. Maybe you... You, you, an influencer of the local of the local uh, supermarket or something or a brand, they look away to generate money. But also we need also our, our athletes to, to be smart. So you need to be able to to market yourself, to put yourself in a position where when you are done running or even when you are still running, you can try to generate income from other avenues mm. to develop that so that they don't just earn from running the prize money or from shoe contract, but they can also make money out of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think... Like what Elite is doing now, he, you know, with Toyota, he's doing something with, with uh, Total. No, yes. Not Toyota, but Isuzu. Yes. And, uh, and with Total. So it's good. Even I saw Bridget Koske with Stanbeck. So, it's good. That, that's the way to go. Like overseas, it's okay for people to, athletes to have brand deals with athletics companies because there are many people that are doing athletics yeah. for fun and for recreation and there are a lot of people yeah, spending I, I, money on the sport. But in Kenya, the only people who are spending money are the athletes. Yeah. Well, the only people who are buying the equipment is the athletes. Yeah. So here, the athletes need to partner with companies yeah, I like... Think, I think also the companies at the end of the day, in, in Europe or in, in America, they also like to come on board. You know? They are proactive, they want to support, they want to chip in, they know this their community. And um, in Kenya, I also you know, hope things change and companies you know, try to, to associate with athletes. They, they, they are brand ambassadors, they have you know, put Kenya on top of the world. They should be able also to reach out, you know. If, but, but I'm hoping, you know, the club system really works. I don't know why people in Japan are making crazy money. Companies are, are competing against companies. Kenyans are going there and competing with Japanese companies. Now, we are the guys here who are producing that. We are the source. Why don't we have multinationals sponsoring our why, why Why we don't have a company like Safaricom, you know? having a very serious athletic club, very serious one, competing against maybe KCB, competing against Airtel, competing against uh, other corporates. And, and, and look, if we have Safaricom having five athletes, ladies, and having five athletes who are men, there's 10 athletes. Now, pay those guys 20K a month, so that is 200K. But yeah, but that is 2.4 M. What's 2.4 for corporate work? What, what is that? There's no money to cry for. Yeah. But how many lives are you impacting? Many. Yes, there's just 10 at least. And those 10 at least have a, a factor sheet now. So those three at 10 at least have like three each. So those are 30 at least. Mm -hmm. So if we have Safaricom having 10, 
Kenya Power, KCB, Equity, you know, BitGo, everyone coming on board. We love like a thousand athletes mm. running for various companies. And we love a very vibrant competitions. Each competition companies are, are competing at the end of the year. These guys are fettered, who won, who did what, you know. And, and you have guys running for track, guys running for road races. You know, and also you raise awareness in your company about health and fitness. Get a gym in your company. These guys will be helping you out to train everything. So it will change the whole the whole scene. And so, who would organise these events? Athletics Kenya, or would there be? I think that the way to make this work would be to have a big media presence and have it. Yeah, Athletics Kenya, of course, are the ones who are organizing all the races and everything. But now when you come to those races, you come to those races as an athlete running for a club, for a company. Instead of as an individual athlete yeah, at the moment. Yeah. So when we are ranking, you say, okay, like now, when you run, they say, okay, which county are you coming from? And the county, when you are training in Italy, the county is Kericho. What is the county doing for you? Nothing. Why are you writing when you are from? You should write when you are Maragot. You're drinking milk from and we are Maragot. So when you go there, we don't say county, we don't say place. You say, why are you running for? You say equity. And then equity says, if you take top position, there's bonus. We get media coverage. Nowadays, athletics, that's why I was telling you, we need to cover athletics for the life because it gives the, 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 the coverage. So they say, you're running for equity. And equity says, if you, if you win a race in Kenya, you get a bonus of 10,000 or 20 on top of what you have. It changes everything. Mm. And then at the end of the day, we say, okay, equity won three, four races. Okay, the points are what the points. Who is leading? Which company? So if the company is leading, they are also fettered during the sports award or anything. That this is the company that is leading. This is the company that is supporting sports. This is a company that is supporting our people. So those guys are sponsoring uh, football clubs. They are paying one player 70 or 100K or even 200K. That is the whole... Uh, for all the athletes at the end of the day, for 10 athletes, as a salary of 10 athletes. Yeah. yeah. We are not very much expensive, but we are not saying we should be paid peanuts. We are saying, as, the, you know, as athletics is growing, people are willing to take what is there for, for now. Then we grow together. Yeah, so the club system will really get things in, in order. Mm. Yeah. How well known are some of the athletes that come out of E10 that come from Kenya? Aside from maybe the one or two big names like Kipchoge, are there, is there interest in the sport around Kenya? Are there people that follow the sport? The people who are coming people, fourth, people. fifth, sixth, are they well known by people, by people do, in Kenya? People do follow the sports. People, and people would like to, to follow the sports. And people would like to engage with the with champions, with top athletes. But who is pushing them to the, to the people? Who is bringing them forward? No one is doing it. Look, when we finished the Olympics, how were the athletes coming in? Like thieves. No one knows when they arrived. So how do people even know them? Mm. At least if you have a, a, a convo, if you have you know, a, a function, people will be wondering, OK, and who is that guy on top of the view? And who is that guy? And who is the other guy? And they say, okay, oh, that is Rudisha, that is Kipchoge, that is fate. You know, just like they say, you don't light a lamp and put it under the table. You put it on top of the table. So we need to put these guys on top of the table. And also maybe, um, maybe houses also need to discuss athletics. Every weekend, every weekend people are discussing football. Every weekend, EPL, almost two hours. Uh, after him, they are discussing. Before one hour, before you love that discussing. Who is discussing athletics every week? But do you have races? Yes. Can they slot in something? Of course, yes. So, that's like people are saying play Kenya music 90% or 70%. We also say sometimes give athletes a platform, invite them to a studio, discuss something, let the people know them. Yeah. Show them to the world. This is Mary Kay time. This is you know, this is the guy who won Berlin. This is the guy. You know, if someone wins Berlin, they just walk into Kenya like nothing happens. JKA, Capsarit, Lori, it's done. Why not say, okay, you won Berlin. Next day is where you come to Nairobi. You go to KTN. 
either the morning show, you say something, either we have uh, sports on weekend, you say something. At least, you, you know, people, you engage, you, you give those people a play, you give those people a platform also, mm. for people to appreciate them also. And if you do that, that is not even when the company say, oh, those guys won Bali. Maybe you can do something with that guy, you know? That is it also, it's, it's good. But also I'm hoping at least what Ajituma, you know, they also work hard in in, in, in branding. Yeah. Look at Manyala, even Manyala was quiet and an introvert guy with no show, nothing. I don't think he'd be where he is. But he's a guy who, you know, loves the fans, loves to have a show, do something, and he's, he's making moves. So at least also need to know that. As we are waiting for the you know, corporate world of the artists to step up, they also need to step up themselves. Yeah. Sweet. No one will, will, will give you anything easier, you know, so they need to step up. But while they are doing it, support should come in to make it a bit easier. Because running is, is quite, you know, quite hard. It's not easy. You're giving out your life into it. You cannot do 50-50. You cannot wait someone to give you a true pass into the, you know, into the 16 or 18 box. You cannot. It's you who is taking the ball from one goal post to the other to score. <laughs> Nothing. It's only you. Mm. Yeah. So, and, and it's not expensive. Right? It's, not, it's not expensive. It's not like having a football team. It's not. No. Yeah. It's a cheap sport. That's why a lot of people are doing. That's why people from Mumbleburg are doing. It. And the runners here live very simple lives, very, yes, very basic. Simple life. Yeah, very basic, very basic. Even if a company which is not big, is not multinational, you know, second tier or even third tier, can pay the at least 5,000 or 10,000 every month. I mean, yeah, me? yeah. Yeah, and I know that's not a problem for them to do. And if you give an athlete in 10,000, they pay a house rent, 3,000, 2,000, and the rest for food, you know, it's not the, like nothing, it's something to them. It's something, it means a lot to them. So if you can do that to impact someone's life, mm -hmm. it changes everything. Everything changes from there. Yeah, so I hope things change as we go forward. And, and we can, of course, we can't wait for the government to do everything. That's why I'm saying the corporate world needs to step in. Without Essex, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. Yeah, and we are very grateful and uh, for the support and it means a lot to us and uh, it's been a difference you know with Essex we've had success and we, I know we, do, we will continue having success but I used to, I always tell my, my, my colleagues even coaches that you know it's not that I'm doing anything special but the support that we get from Essex is what make us be who we are because if you take that support away from me or from our management then trust me will not be, you know, where we are. Their lives have changed. Everyone has been working together. Someone comes from, you know, one point to another. And our business here is just making sure we at least change their life. That is, you know, that is what we're doing here. That is what I'm doing here. Yeah, that is my business, just to make sure you are not where you were last year. You are better, positive at the end of the day. Mm. If you had nothing, at least you have something.